Hello everyone, we're back with Fate Grand Order. Today we're going to be starting or continuing Lost Boat number 3. I'm not... Eh, I don't know the right name of my but it doesn't matter. I'm going to say starting. Uh, the Synchronized Intellect Nation Sin. So it's the Chinese Lost Boat. Let's step in the intro. We kind of like... I, I guess started it? I don't know. Look. Look just give me your cords, okay? Into the storm. Let's go. <laughs> Yeah, we ate some cake, it was poison, we're gonna go find the antidote. And definitely not to destroy this last boat in the meantime. Oh yeah. This animation. Guess you're getting right into it, right? Oh. Oh yeah, we're there. Oh, so... Yeah, okay, so last time we ended with us going there, and now we're there. That's where the time skip was. Merging from long distance zero sail now. Well, we nailed the positioning. Oh wait, it was only supposed to be one day, wasn't it? Never mind. I can see the supercells surrounding this loss, about 1,000 meters straight ahead. Oh, impressive. Even if this position is only possible when embarking from the wandering sea, it's quite something to behold. How do we get back there? <laughs> What's more, Miss Sion tells me that we can expect the level position anywhere except the north and south poles. Unfortunately, we may have been a little too precise. Also, uh, Antarctica, Lost Belt win? Or North Pole? At this distance, our only choice is to head straight into the storm wall immediately. What would a North Pole Lost Belt be? Like, Santa got replaced by Jean Alter Santa Lily? Mr. Gorolf, how are you? Not good. That same as fear of the poison has more or less overwhelmed him. You'll not be of much use for the time being. How about you, Mr. Horsey? Are you ready for this next phase? Uh, yes, I think so. Good. Miss Eon was kind enough to make some significant improvements to your Mystic Code. It should be a good deal more useful both in keeping you alive and in aiding your performance as a master. Oh, it'd be cool if like, it actually upgraded. I'll explain more once we arrive in the last spell, but... Yes, Miss Kyarlite? Is something the matter? Oh, uh, no, it's nothing. I'm good to go as well. I mean, you're not in the exoskeleton, but what? Okay. I did feel the same words during the last last spell as they did in Scandinavia, but... What? Oh! That thing that was, like, following us back then? It... I'm assuming that's what she means by warmth, right? Like... I think they said it wasn't necessarily hostile, but it was something. Like... My assumption is it's the foreign god, but I don't really know. Okay, guys, that's enough. Ready or not, we're embarking on another zero sail. They don't want to burn the border's fuel unless we really have to, so I'm going to take advantage of the inertia we got by launching from the wandering sea. We'll be emerging inside the lost boat without any anything to guide us, just like we did in Scandinavia. Oh? Well, uh, what's this now? It's Scandinavia, oh, not Scandinavia, oh, let me see. <laughs> Idiot. Good news, Gordy. Looks like Koyan's guys inside the Chinese Lost Belt, too. How does she know? She is. Are you sure about that, Da Vinci? Yep. Got a pretty solid sample of her data yesterday, so there's no mistaking it. Now we can kill two birds with one stone. Oh yeah, let's confirm last time that she's Tomomovich. Which, I never actually knew if that was confirmed or not, but, I mean, from what, from how people talk, I mean, it was obvious. Come on now. Not only will this greatly improve our odds of emerging from void space, we can also ask her about an antidote once we capture her. French cooking boy, something anchor point from hypothetical living human to Koyan Ska. Got it. But man, as if I didn't already have my hands full driving this thing. Dang it, just when I could have used the old man's help. So Koyan Ska is in the Chinese Lost Belt too. Wonder if she has the antidote. Very well then, in light of this new information, I believe a new course of action is in order. We should cancel our search for Shan Shuai Ming Mai in favor of capturing Kogan Scout. I'm gonna be replacing that with the antidote. <laughs> that would be a much surer way of neutralizing the poison Gordolf and Horsey consumed. And it would be one less threat to our future endeavors. As for the Cryptor and Tree of Epiness, our goals there would remain unchanged. We find and restrain the former and cut down the latter. Would that be acceptable to you, Director? Yes, of course. That sounds great. Indeed, this is no time to be trembling in fright. No more Mr. Nice Guy, Tomomovich Koganska. 
The next time we meet, I'll see you pay for everything you've done. Oh, fo. Are we going to talk about that at all? And now don't get ahead of yourself, Cordy. You still have to capture her first, remember? Even if we succeed at that, it won't amount to anything if we can't make her tell us where to find or how to make the antidote. Understood. I will hold back. However, I'll not show her mercy. We should, at least, be great here. Great. After capturing her. I forgot about Dijal for a second. It is best if we beat this villain so that she can never again stand up or engage in any evil schemes. God, this is annoying. <laughs> China is my home. Lost Belt or not, its air and land should remain the same. As such, as such I should have no trouble defeating this demon. Thank you, Nija. It's great to have your help. Alright, we're now only 400 meters away from the storm wall. Do it, Da Vinci! I hope I'm saying Nijar right, by the way. And in fact, just to consider this a warning, I'm going to be mispronouncing everything this last month. I, I, I looked a little at Chinese pronunciation, but don't, don't expect anything from me. <laughs> Spanning logical, logic formula on Shadow Border's external armor, removing existence verification for reality space. Future prediction, hypothetically prove mere world plane in 20 seconds. Relaxing space-time friction decompression for 0.4 seconds. All systems are green. Weird space sea observations remain locked at previous results. Shadow border untethered from reality. Weird space time zero sail unfurl once again. Set. Okay, I can take a drink of water. I think we're gonna see like the ranking, right? Get, like the name of the lost boat and everything. Yep, lost boat number three. Lost boat depth E. Oh, huh. The synchronized intellect nation Sin. The crimson beauty under the moon. So, uh, two of those words may remind some people of some things. If you're familiar with the Nasu verse at all. Oh, quartz. Go full, you can do it. Oh, the world map already. Nice. Hey, where's all the snow at? I thought all lost boats were snowy. What's <laughs> something's wrong here? <laughs> Seeding point. I think these are rice fields, right? Oh, it goes way up here. Huh. I'll go. The third last belt. Formation restricted. Oh, um, is it solo fight? Oh. Oh, okay. Nisha and Mashu. Feel bad for people who haven't leveled up their Mashu. <laughs> um, yeah, let's use Mashu on Mashu. Or Mashu on Mashu. <laughs> or bananas. <laughs> no effect? What? I mean, I feel like this is a pretty good one. Just attack up. Oh, what does this one do? Crit? Yeah. Yeah, hey, let me break this. I think it was from the Skadi banner. Which is pretty cool. It's not often that I get a, like, a, a gotcha craft essence limit break. Limit broken. Like a limited one, that is. Oh, and we still don't have a... I think it starts next last bout. Supports will have, like, their own craft essence that gives them a, a buff. It's a pretty good one, I think. We don't really need this, but... We'll take it. So you're fighting a saber. I, I remember this actually. Section 1, the third last belt. Because Akita's servant, I believe, is a saber. Although, I remember uh, ah, my, my tapping device is stuck. <laughs> not my mouse. No, I definitely am not using a mouse because that, that means I'm playing on my computer. No, that is not what I'm doing. It's stuck under my chair, but I don't want to move the wires. Anyway, uh, I think Akita summoned a saber, but. I believe they said in uh, the prologue that she wanted to summon a writer, I want to say. I, I know why that is, but <laughs> you don't. Well, you, you probably do, actually. But <laughs> You say you thought you had a dream? That it might have been some kind of sign? I don't know who this is. And that absurd reasoning has you drinking poison from a chalice. So you think it's foolish too, huh? My wife said the same thing. 
His Imperial Majesty himself gave me this poison. All I need you to do is drain it in a single gulp, and I'll displease him no more. I've slain too many for one in my position. I might say I've outlived my usefulness. I don't understand. I know this would have happened if not for how petty the Emperor is. How can you be so willing to lay down your life for a man like that? You may not see any sense in it, but this is simply what it means to be a warrior. Once I heard you're going to die, I had to come and ask. Say the word and I'll see everyone who toyed with your destiny, who forced this hollow loyalty upon you, drown in a sea of their own blood. Ha <laughs> ha, punished you're so angry on my behalf. It's more that, that I deserve, I'll admit that I do have my, my share of regrets. I think this is, uh, do I have to hide his name? I mean, he's in the band. I think this is, let's just say the new saber. The the color scheme. I, I don't know what his hands look like, but <laughs> but at this point, I've truly come to believe this is a fitting end to the life of Gao Shangan. I don't understand. The way you talk of life and death makes no sense whatsoever, and that might be his mask? I mean, it kind of looks like a mask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then I suppose I could never understand, as death is a concept that's never had any meaning to me. Ah uh, yes, that's true, isn't it? Perhaps if anything, I should be the one begging you for forgiveness. After all, the peace I'll obtain in death will be forever beyond your reach. Perhaps I'm jealous. Jealous of your death, and of the brilliance of your life leading up to it. You're too kind. I assure you, I know no more of death's secrets than you do. Even should I learn them now, they will soon be lost to darkness. Do you have any last wishes? Good question. If I could wish for something beyond my own death, it would be to someday see you again. <laughs> so such a wish must, must sound completely absurd. Not necessarily. I've seen the likes of you shatter, shatter more daunting barriers. I've seen them tame lightning, cure plagues, even change the course of rivers. Cannot say how long it will take, but... Eventually, the day may come when those bound by mortal lives learn to reach beyond even death. Should such a day come to pass, if I'm lucky enough to be there to see it, then I shall recall your final wish. Ah, uh, don't know how happy I am to hear that. In all my 33 years of life, there's nothing I've treasured more than your presence. Okay, you dead. As someone completely unfamiliar with Chinese mythology, I only think I know who that is because of because of fate. <laughs> I I know a little bit about uh, Romance of the Three Kingdoms, like that that's bare bones. Reality space anchor attached. Reality verification complete. Proper human history is resemblance. A lot about depth. E. And I think I know who that woman is, but I'm only like half sure on that. Establishing Shadow Border's existence with the last belt, Zagel Sal returns successful. Later we had another emergence that went so smoothly. How are you feeling, Sunlight? Ne next last belt, is we're just gonna crash land. I know the poison isn't causing you any pain right now, but I've also heard you're not feeling entirely yourself. I'm fine, just a little short of breath is all. Hmm, <laughs> so cold symptoms are the worst of it for you, are they? Must be nice. Love, you know I used to have asthma when I was a young lad. But after I read the memoirs of a great bodybuilder, actor, and politician who once suffered from the same disease. Is he talking about Arnold Schwarzenegger? <laughs> I mean, I don't know if he had asthma. I, I feel like I've read something like that before, but... I followed his example and overcame it with rigorous training. Sadly, I don't have his muscle to show for it. My point, young man, that... Is that all you need is gumpy gumption. There's no time to let your fears get the better of you. Heh, <laughs> I must say. It's almost encouraging to see our commander so energetic despite his poisoning. Yep, she got plenty of time to find a cure, and Gordy's a mage, so he's pretty well accustomed to dire threats like this. Now let's see what things look like outside. Phone? 18 degrees Celsius, 30% humidity, gentle breeze. No unusual magical energy readings. Looking out the window right now, and it looks like a field. Given that last time it was, well, I think in the prologue, Holmes was like, hey, we've gotten lucky that 
none of the Lost Vault people have, you know, turned against us. I kind of have a feeling that might happen this time. I gotta say, I'm almost creeped out by how normal it seems here compared to the other two Lost Vaults. Not quite sure what to make of it. Are there any hostiles outside? Eh, not according to our instruments. Since it looks like it's safe, why don't we all go see for ourselves? Is this really the Chinese Lost Vault? Kinda looks more like wheat than rice to me, but maybe that is rice. Maybe I'm just blind. Latitude and longitude don't lie. We're standing right at 32 de degrees... 40... How do you read latitude longitude readings? 40 what north? It's not 40 inches north. <laughs> we are 40 inches north of the equator. <laughs> at 110 degrees 50 east. Proper human history, this would be Xinyan, a major city with a population of 3.4 million people. Uh, this is certainly not a city, but it doesn't look like an untamed wilderness either. Perhaps it is a wheat field or the like. Admittedly, it would be an extraordinarily large one. Oh hey, I'm not dumb. I recognize the smell in the air here. This is my homeland. And yet, I have no memory of this. Strange landscape. How confusing and depressing. It seems I am useless as a guide for you, after all. Hey, don't worry about it. All bets are off when it comes to the Lost Belts. Besides, we have a much bigger role for you to play than just a guide. For the moment, I picked up a leg line over only a kilometer or so away from here. Between then and how surprisingly safe this area looks to be, I'd say we're off to a pretty good start. Now, what do you say we take the shadow border over to the ley line and set up a summoning circle? Heck yeah! Got it. I'll go warm up the engine then. Can never be too prepared for combat in these lost boats. Okay, the ley line's right around that well. Go ahead and park it here. It certainly doesn't look like a dangerous area, but this one feels off. True, if anything, it's too peaceful. Considering how expansive this farmland is, it's weird that we haven't seen a single piece of agricultural agricultural machinery. The buildings here seem a little crude, too. Yeah, I've never seen any, anything quite like them before. I guess you could say they kind of look like collective housing. I mean, like an apartment building? I mean, it would be nice if you could show me. That's right, but I'm not sure building is the right word for that um, structure. I like ground they leveled. They're still living in holes? Looks like something out of the Stone Age. Maybe civilization never really developed in this world? Oh, they, some people headed this way. Shall we try talking to them? Yes, but do be careful. If they pose any threat to us, we cannot afford being seen as a threat either. Hello, people. Are you the Gerda and Potsy of this last boat? What the? Who the heck are these people? What are they doing in our field? Look at their weird clothes. Do you think they might be for foreigners? Foreigners? Here! Does that mean they came from that strange storm then? Hurry up and call the supervisor. Maybe he'll know what to do. Phew, fool. At least the translators seem to be working fine. According to our linguistic anal analysis, they're speaking Middle Chinese, language that predates the Song Dynasty. Conversation is a good starting point. However, we have frightened them. This pattern is not. Good. Hello, supervisor. Oh, farm supervisor. Hey, did you really see foreigners? You see, what happened to you guys' eyes? Is that like what it happened? What caused this lost spot to happen? Yeah, they're right over there. See for yourself, supervisor. They just popped up in my field out of, no out of nowhere. They were riding around in that weird box. They were really strange clothes. I think they've got weapons too. Ah, oh, crap. I don't like this where this is going. Or see, help us out here before things turn violent. Tell him this is all just a big misunderstanding. If Holmes tries to explain, he'll just make things worse. Huh? What's wrong with my explanations? <laughs> uh, we, we mean you no harm. Ah, he talked! If you don't mean any harm, then why do you show up in the middle of the field dressed like that? Go on, Supervisor. Get rid of them for us before they ruin any more wheat. You got it. They've all taken up weapons. I don't, what do we do? I mean, we did kind of run over their fields with a tank. Full, full, full. Uh, it seems they've got their bare bones lifestyles, not lent itself to open minds. 
I'm afraid we'll need to pacify them before we can begin no negotiations. Is now really the time for detached analysis, Holmes? Can't you use charm on them or something? Gordy's the only one of us who can use charm spells. Uh, he says he can't anyway. What, you don't believe in his Gordy charm? His golf charm? Even if he's telling the truth, he's still uncomfortably holed up inside the border right now. It'd be best to summon a servant who has a powerful innate charm skill. Who would? That, that's a typo. That would require access to the ley line, which we don't yet have. It seems we cannot avoid this battle. Fortunately, our opponent should be willing to listen once they get this out of their system. Well, this would be an ideal situation for my bird, too. I'm afraid I'll have to sit this one out. Yeah, he's still recovering, right? Hey, you still have your full recovery day. Guess we've got no choice then. Ah, uh, shoot and Nijah. Go ahead and fight them if that's what they want. Just make sure not to harm any of them. Understood. I also would like to avoid excessive force. I will. Be careful. Yes. We'll do as great gentlemen do in the true spirit of Ritsu. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, so let's just talk about this last spell for a bit. Okay, that's a good way to start. I haven't started watching Ruby yet, so I can't complain about that. <laughs> I think it's only like six episodes in right now. So, I mean, usually I think I wait until it's all done. But, I mean, for the sake of this last vote, I, I gotta watch it soon. <laughs> oh, no, that means if we finish before New Year's, that means I won't have finished the season and I can't complain about how bad this season as a whole is. Dang, this sucks. Oh, they're low HP. I mean, I guess we do have a little answer. What did Nisha's skills do? No, I mean, obviously, that's quick of us. Three turns? Three? Oh, God. Spear Jewel, Guts, and NPK. Oh, okay, that's pretty good, actually. Protection of Tathagata. What's that doing? Remove deep? Oh, oh, that's all pretty good. I've been uh, putting her in my back lane to shoot bond. I don't know if Nisha's a guy or a girl, honestly. Like, I think. The real Nija was male? Like, well, obviously, like, in real world, I, I'm almost certain the real Nija was male, but, like, in fate, they were male, but they got summoned as a robot female for some reason. Don't quote me on this. They still haven't heard Sailor. But yeah, this also was written by Gen Urobuchi, which is, this is actually my first time reading something by him, but I'm familiar with his stuff, like, Mate Zero, Madoka. I watched a little Psycho Pass, and. I've heard of Sayano Uta. I've yet to read it, but I've heard great things of it. But just, I haven't read it, but I'll go ahead and recommend it as a short visual novel. I think it's like five hours long or something like that. So, so it's short. At least by visual novel standards. And I often see it on like the best visual novels of all time lists. Or at least I did, you know few years back you know that was back when I, I heard it referred to a lot more back when translations weren't as official which I think it has an official one right by Jast don't quote me on that I see so you got into a fight almost the instant you left the border yes I'm afraid we ended up in a standoff for the locals at least we got them to back down for now all thanks to your and Nijah's efforts not to harm them they do appear to understand that our intentions are not violent now they're currently monitoring us from what I suppose they consider a safe distance. Seems they have their own responsibilities to attend to. Correct. No signs of reinforcements. We are safe for the moment. I see. So you managed to avoid provoking them. I'm relieved to hear that they're sharp enough to realize we've only lost travelers trying to get our bearings. We're only lost travelers. We haven't lost any travelers. Although, what about the servants? Said we could summon more once we're able to use the ley line, right? Vincy's outside preparing a summoning circle right now. I think she's running into some kind of trouble, though. Hey guys, setting everything up right now. Just give me a minute to work out the kinks. Sure, you're into a little trouble, but don't worry. The kind I'm used to. Hey, Vincy, are you sure it's okay to hook this weird machine up to Mashu's shield? Looks super shady. In fact, it doesn't even look like it was made on Earth. Alright, it's the booster C on that me. Get this, single one that's you manifest a spirit origin equivalent to three servants. She call it a, uh, whatchamacallit cell. <gasps> Seat or nine! Summon Seat or nine! Fortunately, they burn out after single use, but we're not going to be stingy with Horsey and Gordy's lives at stake. 
I wonder if we're gonna use this in future last spots as well. Because, uh, okay, I, I know we summon three servants here. I, well, at least I think we do. Uh, I, I know we team up with three servants who it would be very convenient for us to summon out here. <laughs> Alright, now we just stand by in the base state. As soon as we get a response from the servant side, I'll kick it to its excited state so we can start the summoning. Is there a reason we didn't just summon them at the Wandering Sea, like, like we did in the Jean? There we go, now it's just a matter of time. As long as the servant has some connection to your horsey, I'm sure they'll answer the summon, last spell or not. Uh, I see. Well done, Technical Advisor. In that case, you can start by summoning a skilled caster capable of brainwashing these barbarians en masse. I mean, not a bad idea. This is an emergency and an urgent one in that. We need to start making progress post haste. Wolfful. Are you alright with that course of action, Mr. Horsey? Uh, I'm not a big fan of mass brainwashing, but. I agree. Since you have working translators, I think it would be best if we tried for more positive relations. Again, this the summoning will take time. It would be in our best interest to negotiate while that proceeds. Sometimes, Mr. Gorodolf, there's something to be said for not letting sleeping dogs lie. Alright then, who's going to lead these amicable negotiations? Of course, they already tried and failed, remember? Where are we going to find an angel with a smile cherubic enough to win over those, those barbarians? Oh. <laughs> oh. I thought it was Gordolf. <laughs> I want to protect that smile. I thought that'd be the end of chapter. That's right, we're just poor and helpless travelers who lost our way. Oh, you poor thing! That must have been so hard. We didn't mean to ruin your field, I promise. You think you could forgive us? Oh, don't worry about that. We can always tell it again. I just get to talk. Just getting to talk to such a pretty girl as you makes me. Makes me. Makes me want to tell the field again more than ever. Oh. Vincy really is a force to be reckoned with, isn't she? She's not technically lying, but she's not exactly being truthful either. She's a demon with the face of an angel. Still, I can understand. Huh, <laughs> just look at those men falling all over themselves. And I'd say these got them twisted all, all around her little finger. How can they possibly trust any of those foreigners after the beating they gave the poor supervisor? Aha, uh -huh, says a good opportunity. I do beg your pardon about that, madam. Please allow me to apologize for trampling on your fields as well. I only hope you can believe me when I say that we truly do want nothing more than to resolve this matter peacefully. Unfortunately, the truth is that we have lost our way and are uncertain as to where we are. This is unrealistic. Everyone, man or woman, would fall in love with a Da Vinci smile. I'm so terribly sorry to impose, but could you please tell us about this place? You are our only hope. That worked. Dang it. I was hoping they were the hero girls. <laughs> we are? Tee -hee. Oh, oops. Tee -hee. Well, then I suppose we, uh, gotta step up. True, true. I mean, if a man this handsome needs our help. Dang it, Holmes is canonically handsome. The least you could do is scare him out, right? Oh. Well, Holmes has his looks, if nothing else. We might get up would raise more suspicion, but oh well. Agreed. I do not know why we fought earlier. Well, uh, the important thing is that we've reached a peaceful resolution. Why didn't we send French Cooking Boy out? Look how handsome he is. Look at his nose and his ears. It looks like they were all scared more than malicious. They seem to be good people at heart. Still going, wow. Long chapter. Well, long arrow. Yeah, sorry, let me take a drink. I did take a look at the uh, length of the uh, like chapters this last bout just to know what I'm getting into. And this one, like, it, it's less than an hour long. I know that. <laughs> I don't remember the exact length. I just remember that none of them are over an hour long, and there's several like ten minute long chapters, which hey, I'm okay with that. <laughs> By the way, Da Vinci, what was the trouble you ran into with the spirit origin after earlier? An excellent question, Holmes. Let us see you're paying attention to the important bits. What? That you'd already resolved the issue with summoning servants. And this resolved and more work to found. Still don't know what the problem really was. 
This last part's nothing like either Russia or Scandinavia. I tried using the ley line here to connect to this last part's throne of heroes, but I didn't get any response. None whatsoever. There's nothing wrong with the equipment, so whatever the problem is, it has something to do with this world. Granted, the odds are always low that a heroic spirit from this last spot was going to be eager to help us, so I wasn't counting on that. But it's still odd that there'd be no answer at all, right Holmes? Indeed. So I just dropped that idea and switched back to trying to summon from Caldea's spirit origin graph. Now we're just waiting for a heroic spirit to respond to our call. God, Sidonai! 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 Napoleon is cool too! Fishing terms, we've been in our hook and cast our lines. All there is for us is now is to be patient. Actually, every Lost Boat is just Napoleon's Lost Boat. What could be going on, Senpai? Maybe it means that there's no one there? Honestly, even though my genius once again carried the day, I really don't know what's happening there. Full, full. What I do know is that the connection to the Throne of Heroes is just that a connection. It doesn't exist in this Lost Boat's ley line. It could also be that our definition of what a heroic spirit is doesn't match this last bounce. Definition of heroic spirit? What exactly do you mean by that? This is a fas fascinating phenomenon, one that no doubt gets to the heart of this last bounce's true nature. But right now, we have nothing more than speculation. We we'll need to collect more evidence before we can begin drawing any conclusions. Uh, back in Lost Boat 2, they were talking about how there are no heroes in this last boat. Is it kind of the same thing here? So, there's probably something, you know, screwed up with how these people live, and, yeah. Oh, uh, that sounds to me like you already have a pretty good idea what's going on, Holmes. I do have my hypothesis, but only a good detective only shares their deductions with they're supposed to be, they're supported by clear and undeniable evidence. You know, it would be really helpful if you just told us the second you had a hunch. Like, we, I mean, it would be, you know, it would be nice, but you do you, Holmes. Yeah, this is the second arrow, right? I think it's only two. Yep. Formation restricted still. It's on Lancer this time. Is it Mushroom Holmes? Yeah. This is like one of your own servants and one support servant. Is this the first time they did this? I don't actually remember if they did this back in the prologue in Anastasia or not. But they probably used the same framework for uh, the Christmas event. Yes, it has like 2v2 bites. Oh, this is a new song. The air is so clean here. I think it is, at least. It is, isn't it? Feels like forever since I was able to last breathe this easily. Since in the other last spots, the border is the only safe place we could go. I almost forgot we have the Caldeo base now, too. Anyway, being surrounded by a natural landscape like this really feels like... Huh? What's that up in the sky above us, Senpai, that is called the sun? It's not really above us, it's a, uh, it's rising. Perhaps you refer to these stars? Looks like some kind of streak? That line there, I assume. I didn't notice it during the night, but that's definitely strange, right? I guess it must be normal here, since none of the locals seem to be taking any notice of it. The Vinci still has them all practically enthralled. So hey, what's the name of this arrow? Arrow? What's that? Uh, I was mostly just wondering what year it was. Well, I'm turning 22 this year. We all start working when we turn 5, and I've planted these fields 17 times now, so that adds up, right? Eh, uh, thanks. See more along the lines of a calendar, though? It's time to plant the seeds and harvest the last craft, boys. You can tell it by the moon, you see? Hmm, let's try this again then. Who's the foremost leader in the world right now? Why, that'd be the most glorious and majestic heavenly emperor, of course. What is this emperor's name? Name? My most glorious and majestic heavenly emperor, of course. Might as well ask me what the Sun and Moon are called. The name's right there. Uh, where might we find this emperor, then? In the capital. Where else? Where's that? Say it's way, way off in that direction. Have you ever been there? Me? Why would I ever go there? We only worship from afar with gratitude. None of us would exist without most glorious and majestic heavenly emperor's blessing, after all. Huh? What's up, Masho? Uh, Senpai? Do you smell that? Uh, you're talking about my owl de cologne? 
<laughs> did switch to my more wild American brand after we got here. Arnold himself uses that brand. No, I'm, I don't mean that. It's less of a human scent and more beastly? This presence, no mistake. Bloodthirsty creatures are headed this way. What is that thing? Oh, there's another one over there. Okay, I'm kind of glad it's letting it out. Oh, hey, look at that cute little doggy. Yay, you're back here again. Oh. They only attack us. What the? Those are Krishat, like we saw in Russia. What are they doing here? We can figure that out later, Dimitri. Right now, we need to evacuate the villagers. And Urobuchi's original script is, Oh, look at these completely unique Chinese monsters. Then the light works is like, Hey, can we just make it Krishan? And he's like, Okay. Because <laughs> they don't want to have to make a new bottle. Plus the animations and stuff. <laughs> look, you can pretty much accept that as canon. But canon, I mean, you get what I mean. Um... Screw that. Anyway, yeah. Uh, so apparently, Gen Urobuchi's really into like Chinese history, which is part of why he wrote this. So I had to cut it. Uh, anyway, well, okay, okay. Gen Urobuchi's like really into Chinese history, which is like why you know he wrote this last book. Uh, I think he wanted to include like a Chinese servant or two back in Zigo. But if you don't know, uh, Stay Night had like a no Asian servant rule. Which is broken with Sasaki Kojiro, but rules are made to be broken. <laughs> and you know, lore wise, that's because, you know, Medea summoned him, but it's probably just because Nasu wanted to be a little chuny. <laughs> just a little. By that I mean, you know, make a guy who can hit three places with a sword at once without using magic. I love Sasaki Kojiro. Okay. You can go ahead and die now, Kishans. Let's go ahead and use this. I mean, I haven't been. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I'm looking forward to Uriobuchi writing this. I think the only other you know, Grand Order thing he's written is the Zero event, right? Which is one of the better events. Especially when you consider it as like. I think it was in the first year of Grand Order, right? I think so. If not, it was definitely the second year. It was early on. I think it was the second one after Karno Kyokai, I believe. I remember Karno Kyokai was the first one. Back then, people were like, oh, what's the collab gonna be? Well, what if it's Metal Come Magica, right, guys? Metal Come Magica collab? And they announced it's Karno Kyokai. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's cool, too. Back then, people thought we might actually get, you know, collabs with other series. But now we... Which, I am completely fine with not having that. I like the fact that, more or less, pretty pretty much every sermon is canon. Like, we have a couple ones that are, you know, jokes, you know, swimsuits, Halloweens, Christmases. Or, uh, only semi-canon, like Fujino. Like, from a story perspective, we don't summon her, but we could summon her. I think it's how it's it works. And so she never really appears. I think she appeared uh like as a sprite placeholder in the Christmas event. I mean summer event this year, but that's it. That's summer five, not summer three. Hot Styles eliminated. That's said. Those are from the Russian Lost Belt. I can't believe we're seeing creatures from an entirely different Lost Belt here. This is too bizarre to be a coincidence. You there. Have you ever seen creatures like this before? No way. I've never seen a monster like that in my life. Me neither. The worst things we've seen until now are the wild boars the supervisor used to chase off. If you ever run into those things before, we'd probably be dead now. Don't worry. We'll help you for as long as we're here. It's the least we can do to make up for ruining your field. Right, Master? Of course. D don't say that second line out loud. What are you two saying? We didn't come here to service this village's bodyguards. No, Miss Kyrie Lad is correct. Those cure shots shouldn't... What, what's with the apostrophe in their name? Should not be present here. If they had made a sudden appearance, we should investigate it. I thought that would be in the chapter. 
How are you feeling, horsey? Just a little short of breath. Hey, your vital signs are all looking good too, so your condition is definitely not too serious just yet. Still gotta keep a close eye on it, of course, but I don't think we need to worry too much just now. What do you mean just now? I thought you said I'd be perfectly fine, it's just a cold. Let's say you're looking a tad pale, Commander. You sure you won't lie down in the command room? Oh, be quiet. Just have a little heartburn from eating too much cake, that's all. But a perfectly good health, I'll have you know. The third rate mage can handle this poison without a problem, and of course I can too. Man, it's then, we're still no closer to getting our bearings here, even with the local sharing. The first order bis bis sorry, is gathering as much information as possible. Otherwise, we have no way of knowing where to even begin. Where to begin? How about we begin with finding Colgan's guy, like what we originally planned? A fair point. Sincerely doubt she came here on a lark. Very well then, how do we track her down? We'll never find her if we merely walk around without a plan, after all. Given that this is a lost boat, we know there must be a cryptor guarding its tree of this somewhere. And just like in Scandinavia, this last boat's tree doesn't seem to be visible. Yes, that concerns me too. The Gresham tree was so large as to be visible from hundreds of kilometers away. The fact that we cannot see it here means that it must be disguised, as it was in Scandinavia. And that in turn means this lost boat's king understands that it is something best kept hidden. Of course, if they so wished, a fairy or sage could make a mountain disappear with a relative ease. I really don't want to imagine going up against someone like that, given everything so far. Indeed, even if we were to capture Kohan's guy today, we cannot simply leave this lost boat behind. As long as it exists, it remains a threat to proper human history. Sooner or later, we'll need to face the cryptor responsible for it. All the more reason for us to hurry along with our investigation. You're all being far too generous, are going to be this village's bodyguards. I mean, I can understand how scared those villagers would be if the Krishat were to suddenly attack again, but... I assure you, Mr. Gordolf, this is all part of our investigation. What was that? Safe to assume that those hostile creatures are the same type of demonic beast we found in Russia. Think back to when we first learned about them. I mean, that was like a year ago, well, like eight months ago. I only vaguely remember them. The Krishat are demonic beasts that are originated in the Russian Lost Belt, possess numerous characteristics that let them survive in its frigid environment. But this Lost Belt is far too warm for such creatures. Oh, now I get it. So that's why Mashu and Horsey agreed to help. They followed us here, right? Right, this has everything to do with us. Well, how would they survive Lost Belt 1 dying? My guess is Kogan's guy is involved, but... The fact that those creatures showed up in a different Lost Belt can only mean that someone brought them here. Indeed, someone who can come and go between Lost Belts as they please. Since we can of course eliminate ourselves as suspects, that could only leave one possibility. Like, what if they like latched onto like the bottom of the shadow border? <laughs> to Mamovich Koyanska. Precisely. Most astute interjection, Mr. Hoysey. Watson would have been proud. <sighs> Finding Koyanska remains, remains our priority, but at the moment, we have far too little information to act on. If anything, the Krishat's appearance, appearances are only real lead so far. We cannot afford to overlook it. Uh, hey, can I just say something? I sent out a surveillance drone towards the capital and discovered something interesting. Oh? Is there extra city out that way? Yeah, we saw it on the map. Tried zooming in and cleaning up the long range footage as best as I could and... Well, it's easier if you just take a look. At least I assume that's it on the map. Oh. Exactly my thoughts. What the heck? Pardon my French. Is that the tree? For once, I'm genuinely at a loss for words. So much for civilization never developing here. They got the science and engineering know how to build a metropolis like this. Come out, come way farther technologically than we thought. I mean, there's not a single support column holding this thing up, so they obviously figured out how to make it float. And since it's clearly no giant air bladders or the like. Gotta wonder just how the heck they were making something like that heavy float. Perhaps magecraft is used openly here. Either that, they really have advanced sci scientifically to the point where they can control gravity. In the latter case, though, they would be well ahead of proper human history, at least in terms of technology. And while I was at it, I grabbed some footage of that weird, perfectly straight line in the sky too. Here it is at max magnification. Huh. What is this thing? Sorry, cut it. 
Well, for starters, it's about 2,000 kilometers above us, so it's just barely in the low, low orbit. But my estimates is more than 5 kilometers wide. It's not even the best part. Stretches along the entire observable sky of the Lost Belt. Wow. Then how come we couldn't see it before entering this Lost Belt? It's 2,000 kilometers up, that's gotta put it above the storm clouds, right? That must mean that the Lost Belt's borders prevent anything within from being seen, storm or no. Anything built during their history, no matter how big it might be, is impossible to observe from the, from the outside. Forget measuring size and mass. From the outside, there's no way to even know it exists at all. Even now that we can observe it, I have no idea what it is or what it's for. The people of this world built it themselves? And this is even more questions. I'll say, how can something like that exist when life in this farming village is, village is so primitive? I kept flying the drone around in every direction, but I didn't see any other buildings or structures even remotely close to the scope of the capital. East, west, north, south, there was nothing but fields everywhere I looked. Seriously? Man, I can't tell if this place is way ahead of proper human history or way behind it. Maybe this is, uh, like, the Emperor's, like, noble phantasm or something? Whatever is taking place here, no doubt stems from this world's deviation from proper human history. Da Vinci, I trust you can determine the capital's latitude and longitude from here. What happens when you map it to the China we know? Well, I guess it's a little too simple an answer, right? Is there a record of a capital city dating back to a well-known dynasty there? Now you already figured, figured that out? I want to keep you on suspense a little longer. I can certainly understand the desire for a dramatic reveal of your own of your information. Under the present circumstances, however, I'm afraid we're relying on you for all such inquiries, so please give us your information now. Uh, you're, you're one to talk, Holmes. Yeah, yeah, you made your point. Based on its distance from our present location, corresponds to proper human histories, Shang Xinyang Prefecture, so I believe X is pronounced Sha, like S H. Xinyang, isn't that. Indeed. With respect to the Qin Dynasty, I believe Q is Cha. Qin? That's before the Three Kingdoms era, wasn't it? Does that mean it even predates Shang Yu and Liu Bang? That's right. The Qin Dynasty was a major empire around 200 BC. It's known for being the dynasty of China's first emperor. It was the country ruled by the great Qin Shi Huang. You can't end it there. Okay. Okay, flashback. Huh, so that is Caldea, your enemy. This is a song. Yes, but not only are they my sworn enemy, they also command a threat to the safety of your empire. Namely, heroic spirits. I'm glad Best Girl shows up chapter 1. We see. Indeed, we were quite surprised when you first told us of them. You said this master could summon an army of great heroes from the past, correct? We find this difficult to credit, indeed. We are certain you will not lie to us, but how could a few mere soldiers ever hope to overturn our eternal reign? You cannot even imagine the possibility. You underestimate heroic spirits at your peril. Those whose souls are offered to the counter force are given tremendous power to ensure the continuation of humanity. Trust me when I say that a single servant is easily the equivalent of a thousand ordinary soldiers. Hmm, so this Aliyah you spoke of? So it is, the, it is the sum total of human consciousness. That might be the first time their name gets mentioned in Grand Order, even. I, I don't think I've seen Alaya. Uh, they probably get mentioned like an interlude somewhere. Like Emmy's or something. This sounds like pure nonsense to us. Is this the matter of thing you simply accept in your wor own world? You make an excellent point, Your Imperial Majesty. My world is more chaotic and less complete than yours. Must have been, if something so preposterous as resurrecting dead heroic spirits to fight in one's place is considered normal. We cannot help but wonder how a world where such things were necessary to maintain order could have lasted. That's an outfit. I must warn you too, your Imperial Majesty. The Master of Calde is an enemy you can't afford to ignore. Alright, we've forgotten that you are from the same world as Akuta. Kom Kominska? My name is Koyanskaya, your Imperial Majesty. Do you think you could try to remember this time? Oh, watch your tongue when speaking to the Emperor, wrench. No matter, these visitors come from a world beyond our domain. Of course our customs elude them. Thank you, your Imperial Majesty. I do understand that you may find it rude and presumptuous of me to warn you so one so omnipotent as you. 
But the fact is, Kaude has already brought strange creatures with them that threaten your people's safety. This this poses quite a problem for your quarantine as well. Sure you, surely you don't want them to get away with this? Please, your Imperial Majesty, we merely wait for them to reveal your true barbaric nature. Their tr true barbaric nature. It'll be too late. Huh. If it is so important to you, then why not have... Why have you not done something about it yourself? You command these servant puppets as well, do you not? I... Yes, I do. If you forgive me for disturbing your eternal paradise, I get someone around right now. Very well. It shows exactly what these warriors from another world are capable of. Yes, your Imperial Majesty. Huh. This Emperor is much more laid back than I thought. He's put a bit more eagerness to take down the threats to their empire. And hope for the same. Nothing ever seems to go as planned with the Emperor. But, oh well. That isn't going to change. So does she not have a servant yet? Oh, and hey, she's wearing the, uh... The logo on her thing. I never noticed that. Well, so you end up having to do all the work in consequence. I do hope it won't take you too long to finish them off. Is that all you have to say for yourself? After all the trouble you've caused? Heek! <laughs> Please don't glare at me like that, Akuta. You're gonna make me cry. We're on the same side in all this. Besides, isn't the Master of Chaldea every crypto's sworn enemy? Of course. You could have lured him into any of the other territories, and any of them would have made sure to finish them off. I'd go so far as to say any one of them would be a better pick for this kind of work than me. So why did you have to bring them to China? They're only here because they're they're following you, right? Thank you all so much for that. Hi, <laughs> don't be so hard on yourself, Akuta. I really thought you'd be the best fit for the job, seeing how you're so good at defense and all. You see, I actually tried to assassinate him assassinate him as a favorite apparel. But I'm afraid things didn't exactly go as planned. See, the poison I used is called the antidote. Oh <laughs> no. Xi'an, Chai, Ming Mai, and. Well, I don't suppose you already know what it is, do you? You're unbelievable. Hey, <laughs> so you do know about it. You're one smart cookie, aren't you? In that case, you can see where this is going, right? Including what they'll try to do to find an antidote. Kong and Scott? Did you do this on your. on per? No, I didn't. This time, I only had about 10% of a plan. That's why I wasted no time coming to warn you, Akuta. I wanted to take responsibility, see? I mean, Kaudai has got the world's greatest inventor and greatest detective on their side now, right? I knew it wouldn't take them long at all to figure out where the poison came from. So I thought, instead of wasting time trying to sweep this under the rug, it'd be much better to fortify our defenses now. So here I am, warning you about the danger and taking responsibility. So it's not like you and I are complete strangers, right? What, why is there a bell right there? <laughs> like, this whole outfit just seems kind of, uh, uh, what's the word, just, uh, impractical? That's a word for it. So I thought I could help you out with getting rid of Count Aya. Besides, you're both misanthropic outcasts. It only makes sense for us to join forces, don't you think? Sure. That much I know we have in common. Well, that still doesn't explain why you brought those dangerous pets of yours along. Pets? Perish the thought. They have their dignity, at least as far as wild animals go. So you didn't order them to go around killing people? <laughs> of course not! Why would I drive myself with the pleasure of torturing and killing humans? Now they're just doing their best to survive and find food in an environment they're not used to. Don't you find that far more endearing than a bunch of de defamed livestock, like this nation's people? That's not the problem and you know it. How could you set demonic beasts from another lost boat loose here? If the Emperor finds out you're the one responsible for them, you'll find yourself in real trouble. Oh, that? You might say that's part of a lifelong project for me. Don't worry, I promise I won't make any trouble for you. You have your own life's work what you've devoted yourself to, don't you, Akuda? So I think we will both be happier if we stand out of each other's way. Fine. What's done is done, after all. There's no way I'm letting Kaldega mess up my nice, stable lost belt. Don't you dare go easy on them, Saber. Oh. He's already summoned. As you wish, Faster. I promise. I won't let you down. Huh? When did you summon him? I can tell he's got a beautiful face underneath that mask, too. No fair, Akuda. How come you're the only one who gets a certified hottie working for her? You had bored off before, Tomavo. Shut your mouth. That's not why he's here. Uh, shut up already, you dink fox. 
embarrassed awkward times amazing best girl yeah that's chapter one it looks like okay come on we get it fall yep okay uh, oh yeah oh, I need more of those bells for uh, consort you I think I looked oh 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 okay yeah, that's the capital. That's not the capital. <laughs> that's, uh, something else. Chapter 2, Eternal Empire. Question of it. Is this gonna be... I don't know how it makes it up. No, no, I definitely remember fighting that saber. It's definitely gonna... Well, it might not be this one, but it, it's definitely soon. Do we have three courts? I think we do. It's either two or three. Three! Let's do this. I actually had a copy of the red hair, by the way. Kyosuke, as you might call him. Mask the Saito. <gasps> Come on! Ooh! Dang it. This sucks. Rolling the Gotch is the only source of dopamine in my life. I need more. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you guys next time with some more Fake Grand Order when we do Chapter 2. Probably gonna do that one tonight and then call it there. But, but I mean, I might clear this by New Year's. We'll see. I'll see you guys then. Well, not on New Year's, but next time. <laughs> Bye.